بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی علیہ و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد قال سبحانه و تعالی فی کتاب الكریم اللہ دی امائیدی دی اونلی ون وردی ورشب سیز ان القرآن قال سبحانه و عبد اللہ ولا تشركوا به شيئا worship Allah alone and do not associate partners with him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited us from shirk ordered us with worshiping him and him alone worshiping him in accordance <coughs> With his rububiyah, with sincerity, knowing that Allah is the Lord of the heavens and earth, that He is the Creator of the heavens and earth, that He is the Provider of the heavens and earth. He planned everything. Subhanahu, everything is is in accordance with His His plan, His decree, and that makes up Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's lordship. On top of that, or in addition to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in his uluhiya, his divinity that he is the only one who should be worshipped. All worship is directed to Allah, to Barak wa ta'ala, that for our success, it only comes by worshipping Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone that he tabaraka wa ta'ala when we make hajj it's for Allah when the holy month of Ramadan when we fast it's for Allah when we pray it's for Allah we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we supplicate we supplicate to Allah All those things which please Allah and that He loves are worship. So all worship is directed to Allah. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said a very beautiful statement, which is a very general statement encompassing what ibadah is in Islam. قال الشيخ الإسلام على إبادته كل ما يحبه الله ويرضاه من أفعال الظاهر والباطن. so عبادة worship is everything that Allah loves and is pleased with, from deeds that are open and that which is, you know, contained in the heart and that which is hidden. من أفعال وأقوال from deeds and statements and of course the عبادة of the heart. letting us know that's worship in Islam and the third category of Tawheed when we look at that ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَعْبُدُوا wa وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِشَيْهِ worship Allah and do not associate partners with Him because we have to know the third aspect of Tawheed which is الْأَسْمَاءِ وَسِفَاتِ that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes which are only for him, tabarak wa ta'ala, and those sifat, only he possesses those characteristics and perfection, and that nothing in his creation is like unto him, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, affirming that he possesses hearing and sight, that he is the all-hearing, he is the all-seeing, he sees and hears everything, but negates the fact that his creation's hearing and sight is like his. That, that there's any resemblance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Tabarak wa ta'ala, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٌ وَهُوَ سَمِيعٌ وَهُوَ سَمِيعُ الْبَصِيرٌ There is nothing like Him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَهُوَ سَمِيعٌ بَصِيرٌ وَهُوَ سَمِيعُ الْبَصِيرٌ And He is the all-hearing 
and the all-seeing. So, Allah is as samir and Allah is Al-Basir. Those are two of His divine names and attributes. That He has the attribute of being the all-seeing and the attribute of being the all-hearing. But it is not like His creation sight and His creation's hearing. Nor do we make examples. Because Allah's is, Allah hearing His sight is perfect. Whereas we are imperfect creatures. And we were created, Allah is the creator. So knowing Tawheed and knowing what is Ibadah is an obligation upon us. In order just to fulfill that simple command. Wa'budullah wa la tushriku bishayin. Wa'budullah, worship Allah, it's a commandment, meaning it's an obligation. Wa la tushriku bishayin. And do not associate partners with him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then you have to know what Tawheed and Shirk is. And that's the importance of seeking knowledge about these things. That every Muslim must know who Allah is and how to worship Him properly. What is Ibadah? What is not Ibadah? What are the conditions for Ibadah? That it should be, a person should be sincere to Allah and in accordance with the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of those things are an obligation upon the believer. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those who practice his religion in a manner that please him, pleases him. And may Allah bless us all with Jannah to Vardos and accept our fasting, accept all of our ibadah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala Nabiya Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.